You know, I want to show you something about a, a trailer hook. I know a lot of guys use them, and I see guys using them all the time. And you know, when you're getting fish that are short striking your buzz bait or short striking your spinner bait, you know, you got to have a trailer hook on there. But yet again, I see guys using cheap, junky trailer hooks. I don't understand that. You buy a great spinner bait like this Nichols Pulsator spinner bait. You go out and you buy a, a eight or nine dollar awesome spinner bait, and then you put a junky trailer hook on it. Like that makes no sense in my mind at all and sometimes in my mind stuff doesn't make sense but anyway but trocar has one bad trailer hook that sucker is sharp and that will stick them i mean that thing look at that just pulls down it is sharp i always use that but a lot of times i don't use the whole piece of tubing and keep that trailer hook in one spot i like it to swing around like that so i just cut a little piece of the tubing like that and just slide that over the hook and then that way that hook swings free so when that fish comes up and bites a hold of that if he just gets the trailer hook when he flops around he's got some movement and i think that really will help you to keep those fish pegged on on a trailer hook it you know with this trocar hook and having it swinging back there like that I think you'll definitely land more fish on your buzz baits and your spinner baits.